I'll need a set of clothes he wore at least once. Do not wash them. I'll also need a lock of hair and a valuable possession of his. Can it be a baseball mitt? Mitt, toy, whatever, sir. As long as he cherished the thing. Does this really work? Nobody ever asked for their money back. Grief is like the ocean. It comes in waves, ebbing and flowing. Sometimes the water is calm, and sometimes it's overwhelming. All we can do is learn to swim. Wise words from Vicky Harrison, one would say. But what happens when the pull of grief is stronger than the will to push forward? Taking inspiration from Shahid Kapoor, our attachments can be our biggest strength, but they can also be our greatest weakness. And although they give you the power to love someone more than yourself, it becomes difficult to live when you lose the thing you cherish most. So let's look at the doll maker. How do you grieve the loss of a child? What would you give for just a brief moment to hold your child again? Money? Your sanity? Your life? When a grieving mother is unable to accept the death of her child, she jumps at the opportunity to be reunited using a magical surrogate doll but unable to separate the magic from reality, her husband risks losing everything to an illusion. While she can live with the illusion of being happy families indoors, out of her arms and the four walls of their home, reality becomes the nightmare she is unwilling to accept. In doing so, she resigns herself to the worst prison possible not one built of steel and stone, but one carved of lies, and one which keeps you chained to the deception, the mind. Why do I feel like the instruction manual comes with a long list of warnings? Just one. Do not spend longer than one turn of the hourglass with him. Ever. Once time is up, he must go back into the box for a whole day before you can take him out again. What happens if I go over time? My product's like a drug, buddy. Fun to use, but dangerous to abuse. Ignore this rule, and you'll start losing it. Really losing it. You'll believe the lie. You'll believe that the doll is the real thing. You won't even have to touch him anymore after a while for the illusion to work. You'll forget about the accident, cancer, or whatever the hell happened to the brat. You'll even forget about hiring me. Your mind will bury what needs to be buried and fill in the blanks that need to be filled to keep the lie alive. Of course, if any of this happens, it's not my responsibility. Because you have been warned. To find the rule of the doll maker, the mind becomes a twisted labyrinth, a mother willingly lost in the weave of her own fabrication. So much so that when it's ripped away from her, the final thread frays and snaps. In a twist, the husband has been living the same falsehood. In an attempt to dispel his wife's illusion, he shatters his own. Grief is a difficult emotion, and letting go may feel like betrayal, but sometimes holding on can do more damage. Sometimes the only cure for grief is grieving. Having recently lost my grandfather, this movie pulled a heartstring. It shows us that we all have our own way of dealing with loss, some methods more destructive than others. 
However, the only person capable of grounding you is you. And denying the reality of grieving can have disastrous consequences. This movie isn't your typical horror with a homicidal maniac, ghosts or jump scares. In this horror, the monster is lost. It's a horror in the sense that it reveals the cruelty of life and ultimately, grief is the price you pay for love.